it is. This is me, and this is what I look like in Oslo. And uh, we just arrived at the airport, waiting for my luggage, my guitars, my, my stuff. And uh, yeah, we're going to Larvik Guitar Festival, and I'm um, gonna have a performance tomorrow. And I brought my wife as well, she's down there. Hi, her name is Louise, by the way. Say hi. Hi. Repeated message, repeated oh. message for message <laughs> They're calling out for uh, Brambilen, which is uh, the fire truck. <laughs> uh, there's someone called Brambilen in last name, and uh, it's, that means uh, fire truck in Swedish. It's funny. I thought it was funny anyway. We're in our hotel room. There's the beach. So for later, we're going down there taking a swim. Uh, there's a bit of snow. Oh, there's there's someone walking down there. That's kind of creepy. Anyway, it's a nice hotel. So right now we're uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. I need to pee real bad. <laughs> oh my god, how are you, you doing? doing? <laughs> nice to see you. I didn't want to get in your shot. I thought, oh, he's doing What shot? Oh, it's a lot worse. Like it's uh <laughs> It's like it's like it's I understand when other like when Meshuga does it. Yeah. But when you get one yourself it sounds like Meshuggah, it's like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah. everyone else sounds... Um, I think the only one that actually got away with it is Tosin. Sure. Because he's this, very chordal. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's very musical. So but all the other bands that you day strings, it's basically Meshuggah. Yeah, I agree. All the riffs are all no one will ever be as good as Meshuggah at doing mm. what they do. Alright, so we, we went to the uh, Larvik Festival. Uh, it hasn't opened yet, but we went there just to get food in the backstage area. And hung out a little with... Uh, Chappers, Rob Chapman, who's playing tonight, and yeah, we got a coffee. We're gonna go check him out. He's playing tonight, and uh, just walking here in beautiful Larwick. It's very nice. It's a little cold. All right, I'm ready for spa right now. Unfortunately, I cannot bring my phone there. My wife's also ready, so uh, you just have to guess how it is. Send that to your drummer's ear. Yeah, it's a knife. You know what I mean? It's, a wife. So it's always the same every time. What's up? The thing where I'm going <laughs> is, is the <laughs> people that takes that. care of us at Lara Week <laughs> Festival. And, the, the and uh, bringing us all this the awesome food. Right, they're both running the same Ableton section in tandem. Oh. 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 for Rob Chapman to start. Oh, SMS. So now it's late, what is it, Friday evening? And we were just 
in bed and the fire alarm went off. So now we're outside in the snow. Super awesome. So we're going to the lobby. That was totally a waste of time. False alarm. I was kind of excited. It was a real fire, but it wasn't. My eyes are just perfect. <laughs> it's um, Saturday morning and uh, me and my wife just had breakfast in a beautiful restaurant and uh, now we're just chilling at the hotel. My wife's a little bit sick and uh, from the look of my eyes, it looks like I'm kind of sick too. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna talk about what I brought for this little tour, I brought my a 2.6 solar guitar. Uh, I brought my A 2.7 seven string action. I have a couple of songs where I play seven string. And then I was supposed to bring a third solar guitar, but then like last minute, I decided to bring my my Ibanez universe because Steve I is also playing at this festival. So I was kind of hoping to, you know, fan girl out a little bit and, and maybe have him sign my, my universe. That would be awesome. I, ju I just hope that he will. I don't like to bother people that much. So <laughs> I'm not sure this is going to happen. And uh, I saw him entering the hotel yesterday when we arrived, but I didn't want to, you know, make a fuss and it's like it's not it's not a very Swedish thing to do to just jump up and and say hi to someone you you never met. So uh, yeah, hopefully uh, there will be a good opportunity for him to sign my guitar today. And I yeah, I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> Packing up my shit. Next to Guffrey Goldman's shit. So, come film this guitar. It's a nice guitar. It's Guffrey Goldman's Charvel. It's nice. Basically, I'm using what's easiest for me to bring, like this Fractal Axe 8 pedal. Then I just hook it up to an effects loop of any amplifier and I'm good to go. This is very convenient for me, and I also bring a, my in ear system. Because, uh, makes me perform better. Ready to go? Yeah, just about. It's random playing that kind of stuff in a really just tame way. Yeah, I'm really kind of... Well, it's fun, but... I don't know, it, it is what it is. Yeah, just smile behind that. By the way, I'm Ole Langland. Uh, I play in a couple bands. A band called Fear, a band called Thank You. Uh, not, they're not called Thank You. They're, they're called The Haunted. Uh, two Swedish bands. And uh, I'm a gear nerd, too. And I run a YouTube channel. <laughs>
So I will be the bringer of death metal today, yeah. if that's okay with you guys. But don't be alarmed. I'm gonna play some slow love making songs as well. <laughs> so stay. I promise you, I will make you love death metal after this <laughs> workshop. Okay? So I will play one last song, and uh, it's perfectly fine if you want to mosh out. If you want to form a circle pit, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> if you don't know what a circle pit is. Uh, you're basically running around in the center. <laughs> I specifically worked on questions over two weeks that I knew he would answer subjects of. Yes, yes. So he would, I'd ask a question, he'd answer it, and any answer would be a link to another question. Exactly. So right, it would be a conversation rather than just, no, my list good. now it says what, who, what kind of strings do you want to use? Oh yeah. No, it was good. I mean, uh, <sighs> good job. Good friend here is bringing up his Ibanez acoustic guitar. And he's gonna show it, show us a bunch of really cool. Oh, that's Leo, by the way. Say hi, Leo. Hey, what's up? And uh, I'm gonna switch. It's all Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. It's with an A, not an yeah, O. Exactly. So it's almost yeah, like the fish. It's a very, very talented young player. It's um, gonna kick our asses. Shop with this guy. Good. Oh, that was awesome. Thanks. We can actually this uh nothing happening. But smile, because it's my fault. Cool. Cool. now it's Sunday morning and yesterday was awesome I had my show and uh, it was great it was a great show the audience was great and uh, then we there was a bunch of uh, after party or like backstage hangs that were really cool and uh, but I think like the biggest moment was when uh, uh, I met Guffrey Govan and he uh, told me he was using my Kemper profiles for uh, when he's doing the Hans Zimmer live shows, which totally, that just blows my mind right there. Holy shit, that, that, that makes me so incredibly proud. Yeah. Okay. That's so nice. Making my day. Oh, 
this right. is going to be in a good spot now. All right, thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. All right, so now we're at the airport, and um, you know, uh, during this festival, I was kind of, you know, I wanted to meet Steve I and uh, have him sign my guitar, but it never, you know, there was never a really good time for me to just, you know meet him and you know just ask him about that so i was pretty bummed about that but now this morning when we got went to the airport it turned out that we're sharing the same car as steve i <laughs> to the to the airport so it's me and my wife and steve and his wife and it was uh, it was amazing basically uh i was quiet a, a couple of minutes before we uh, like a half an hour because I was just, uh, I was just so starstruck. But uh, my wife, she <laughs> sent me a text in the car, like, "Come on, just talk to the guy. It's your time right here. Talk to Steve." And I'm like, "Okay, I have to talk to him." And um, before that, it was just basically just you know the small talk, basically before that. But uh, I just wanted to start talking to him, so I start talking to his wife, and he just yeah, she's a uh, half Swedish, so it's uh, it was a good. Uh, good starting point at least and then I moved on to Steven and started talking it was really nice we talked about a lot of you know about songwriting and uh, it was funny to hear how he was you know, categorizing riffs and ideas the same way that that I do so it's just uh, it's real inspirational we talked about you know yeah he's, he's very spiritual and uh, you know about you know not letting yourself be a hindrance to yourself basically and uh, it was awesome, and uh, eventually I also asked him to to sign my guitar. So I got my guitar signed. I'm very happy about that. It's a very, very awesome fangirl moment for me. And uh, so not, right now I'm really happy. It's been a really good weekend at Larvik. And uh, of course also spending all this time with my beautiful wife for the first time. That definitely helped me out and, uh, and uh, filmed a bunch of this. So it's, uh, yeah, thank you so much. She haven't even talked in this video, I think. So let's let's ask her. What's your name and who are you? My name is Louise. I'm the wife. She's the wife. <laughs> Good answer. I like that. Hey, Come on,